In the last video we got the NPC to walk around a predetermined path. Before we proceed with the main part of this video, which is to get the NPC to chase us and to change speed, I'm going to alter the increment path index class. In the original version, uh, and here it is, um, we had this expression here, which used modular arithmetic to make sure that um, the index that's written to the blackboard is always between zero and one less than the number of points uh, on the path. Now this is only useful if the NPC is going to patrol in the forward direction only. However, at the moment, when he has reached the end of the points, he changes direction and so the index is decremented again. So I'm going to include a change so you can specify bidirectional or unidirectional behavior. So first we need to go to the header and add a private variable which we're going to explode, expose to blueprints. Um, Improperty to allow private access and it's going to be a ball a boolean um, I'm going to call it bidirectional I'm going to initially set it to true in the CPP, what I'm going to do, I could enclose this entire if statement. I think that's what I'll do. Different from where I was going to do it. So I'm going to put in um, if by directional, and then move this piece of logic inside. Though only if it's bi-directional do we change direction using this. I need a header because I'm going to use the um, ABS function from the standard library. So include uh, CMath, isn't it? Get access to the standard C++ maths libraries. The reason is that when we do not doing by direction, we're going to keep incrementing index and eventually, admittedly, when it hits about two billion, it's then going to overflow and become negative. So to go against that possibility, I'm going to make both of these absolute values because you can't have negative indexes. It will crash or throw an exception. Um, that looks all right, doesn't it? Let's just check. So if we do a build, okay, got a successful build. So what happens when we go back to the tree? I click on this. There's now an option you can tick on and off. So at the moment it's on bi-directional. So if we play, see what happens. It should behave as before. And I'll see what happens when I tick it off. It goes back again. So if I now alter this, so it's off. See if it always goes in the same direction. Yeah, looks like it's going to go round and round. See it do it a couple of times, make sure this modular arithmetic is working as I suspect it will be. Yeah. It's 
suppose I could to be thorough test to see what happens when it hits 2 billion but that could take a while um, if we look at the blackboard keys I don't know if you can alter the fact let's have a look can we alter the values um, uh, that's odd you can't set the value is that right you'd have to do it in code or something but um, I want to move on now the rest of the video so I want to do a speed change although first we need to make the NPC chases again because at the moment he isn't so if we go back to the uh, sorry the tree um, we've got this code over here and we want this one on the right this can see player one that it's chase player I mean so if we move this out the way and uh, move this over a bit connect it up so right and now he'll chase us and the question is can I lose him because I had trouble with this um, getting away from him he's going back to patrolling which it seems all right if I stay outside the site radius uh, I should not be detected because I've got increment index on unidirectional not bidirectional I'll turn that back so it's doing bidirectional instead if you're having any trouble with losing the NPC, I did a few tweaks to the code, so I'll show that now. Back in the con NPC controller, I changed the elute site radius extra bit from 50 to 25, and I changed auto success range from last seen location from 900 to 520, which seemed to make things a bit better. I now want to do that speed change mentioned earlier. The idea is that when he's doing this bit, I patrolling, he walks, but when he's chasing the player, he'll run. And I'm going to rename this node patrolling so it's obvious what it is doing. For this, we need a service. Now, a service is attached to nodes like decorators, but they cannot affect the flow of control and they don't return a result. They're just bits of code you want to execute when you go through the node. Of course, if we're doing this in blueprints, we would just click on this new service button. But since we're doing C++, we don't do that, so instead that's the right one. So let's create a new C++ service, and the parent for this will be BT Service Blackboard Base. There is one for blueprints as well, called BT Service Blueprint Base. But as we task, you cannot use it for C++ based services. The blueprint has all sorts of things in it, which the C++ version doesn't, similar to the case with tasks. You have to be careful how you name these classes, I found by mistake. I put surface as a suffix originally, and just service appeared in the drop down list when you create your service, which confused me, so I am just going to call this change speed. So, create that edit. We do need a constructor. I uh, don't need any extra c includes, do we? Just need a, a, cons a public constructor which doesn't take any parameters in this one. <clears throat> what we do need is not execute task or even execute service as you would be forgiven for expecting, but on become relevant. This is a function that we override from the parent class and it takes a behavior tree component which is an onconst reference and this memory node parameter pointer as with tasks Now we need something in the private section of the class, a float variable that we are going to expose to the editor. So we can set the speed on each relevant instance of the service. 
I should give it an initial value of say 600.0f in my original version I did override get static service description not going to do that I've, well let's do it um, <coughs> see what happens I think it provides a flyover heat on your no, on your uh, nodes and that so um, since I did it before I might as well do it it's an F string with term value In the constructor we need to set a flag so on become relevant is called when the service is executed. I'll set the node name to uh, change speed. And the code is quite simple for this. You have to call the super version and the parent. interesting in my original code I did a, I cast the controller to the MPC AI control you don't want to need to do that because um, we're not really yeah we need to be what we really need is the MPC so um, yeah const const equals dot <coughs> get AI owner like that. Uh, we need the AMPC const MPC equals cast AMPC const oops get pawn. Is that not going to work because we need the header? <clears throat> By the way, we did need the header for the AI controller after all, otherwise, it complains. In the character class, is a character movement component that we get with a get character movement function, and in this component is a max walk speed variable. We'll set that to our Explode speed variable. Because of this, we now need the character movement component header. I will now write code to return uh, a description string from get static service description. Time to do a build. Okay, looks like I've got a good build. So, go back to Unreal and this tree now. We right click on this, add service, change speed. Add one there, add one on here too. So, this one, um, yeah, it's set to 600. This is when he's doing patrolling. So if we set that to 100, not 1400, that to 100, and this one, I'll make it a bit less than 600, make it 500. Um, also, right, they've been set to, both these um, Blackboard base conditions have been set to Observable bolts both by the way, in case I didn't cover that. Um, so that should work. Save it. Have a 
play. You can see now he's walking, not running. If I get him to follow, he will run. I think we're having trouble getting him to go onto the top of this thing. Not sure why that is. Might be a reason. He should follow me up these stairs. Should be out of running actually. You look at it this way. Um, hmm. No, I can't see about running. Ah, oh, there we are, Ken. So now he goes back to patrolling again. Just noticed why um, the NPC can't follow us up onto the raised area, and it's to do with the um, nav mesh bounds volume. You have it too high like this it seems to break the path up the stairs I don't think you can see that for zoom in and so he can't follow if you lower it a bit it now connects better for some reason so um, if I now run it get him to chase There we are. See if you can make it up even if he oh, may have lost sight of me. Yeah, it has. If I do do this. Oops. Yeah. So that's working quite well. That's it for this video. The next one will be looking at animations.